for 2.4 millions of years, little penguins are coming ashore in Australia. With the arrival of humans, the marine environment is changed and bringing threats to penguins in the marine habitat. Humans might be the driving behind those threats, but we are also the answer to stop them. Thanks to the Bank of Melbourne, we've been able to study penguins in a very fine detail. Using automated wave bridges, we are bringing penguin research to the 21st century. Understanding how penguins respond to change in the marine system is critical for the conservation in the future. Penguins are a key indicator species. They're actually top of the food chain around here. If something's wrong with the penguins, then we know there's something wrong in that entire food chain. So the Wave Bridge is an incredible tool that we have to collect fine scale data on the penguins. The penguins actually spend about 80% of the time out at sea. So while they're out there, we don't know precisely where they're going or what they're doing. But that's why it's really important that we have this way bridge in place so we know how long they've been foraging for, how successful that foraging trip has been and how long they stay in the colony for as well. Historically most of the work we do here and studying the penguins involves going to their burrows and pulling them out and holding them and things like that. We're trying to move away from that. We can't be doing that five times a day. So the way bridge itself is basically a platform across which the penguins will walk as they walk across it, we see how much that penguin weighs and we make that a little tunnel so that the penguins have to go a particular path. And as they go across that, there's also a microchip scanner on the top. And so when we see how much they weigh, we also see who they are. That means we can tie that weight with any previous weights and any subsequent weights that we'll get for that same animal. The weigh bridges are a really powerful tool to tell us what's happening with all of the penguins in a certain area over the course of their life. So this data is really important, especially now in such a changing environment that we're in with climate change. And it's really important that we have our finger on the pulse, that we pick up any changes as soon as we can so that we can safeguard the population of the penguins here. All the research we do here is trying to guide conservation. So we're trying to get information that helps us to protect wildlife and the ecosystem in general. If we let the ocean disintegrate, we will pay a big, big price for that. It will require new and extraordinary levels of science and funding if we want our kids and the kids of our kids to continue enjoying seeing the penguins in the future.